Red Carpet with Brad and Ange. Welcome back to the News Hour. It is a leading cause of developmental disability among children in this country. And beyond the devastating physical and mental effects, fetal alcohol syndrome also tears families apart. The problems start with mothers who drink during pregnancy, but new testing may allow health officials to get a grasp, grasp of the situation earlier than ever before. Global's health specialist Alison Vushnik has the details. Would you like to when Brian and Bonnie adopted their daughter Colette, they had no idea she had permanent brain damage caused by fetal alcohol syndrome. Nobody had ever made the link with us. I always mentioned it whenever we did any kind of testing. I thought it was important, but it was always just overlooked. Here at the Hospital for Sick Children, they test a baby's first bowel movements to determine if the baby was exposed to alcohol in the womb. Now they can test the mother's hair. It's a very powerful test to tell what people do over a long period of time. Close to 300,000 families in Canada are living with the effects of fetal alcohol syndrome. And there's been some estimates that up to 50% of individuals in jail are actually alcohol affected. The baby's tests are requested by the Children's Aid Society. They say early intervention can help the addicted mother and baby. There's a lot of research to suggest that if you can diagnose before six years of age that there are much better outcomes for these children. Testing babies has been going on for a few years, but testing the mother's hair raises new ethical questions. Is it fair? We are not uh, here to convict or anything. It's really to help, to mobilize help. The first few years of life are very critical for the baby, for development of brain. For Colette, it was after she dropped out of school, ran away, started using drugs, before they officially knew what it was. Others have difficulty holding down a job, staying in school, and often face trouble with the law. Colette thinks the test would have helped. If it's going to mean that that child has a better life, they might as well do it. And scientists are now developing a test that can check a baby's hair for alcohol exposure in the womb. But Allison, how long does this alcohol stay in the hair? Well, because the hair grows slowly and contains a continuous history, doctors say they can detect an alcohol use in adults back to six months. An interesting story. All right, thanks, Allison. You're welcome. Well, there's some uh, food for thought tonight for parents trying to steer their kids away from sugary cereals and snacks. In the face of a major lawsuit, cereal giant Kellogg's is making some big changes to.